This is Right on the Money with Tom Mosley, founder of Mosley Wealth Management. What's on your mind this week, Southern California? The stock market, taxes, inflation, income, social security, how to ease into retirement? Let's get your financial questions answered right now and right on the money. In retirement, a lot of people have built a great lump sum. We call that your lumber yard, but you need a blueprint to put that lumber yard into a plan that you can build a retirement house to live in. Having spent 19 years in the ministry, Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management today serves you with conservative financial strategies designed to protect your assets and provide you the potential for wealth accumulation and has been doing so for over 25 years. Our mission at Mosley Wealth Management is to help people make sure they never run out of income the rest of their life and they pay as little as they're legally required to pay in taxes. This is your Right on the Money Radio Hour, and here is Tom Mosley. And a very happy weekend to you. You are listening to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. He is the founder and president of Mosley Wealth Management based right here in Southern California, and I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. Each weekend, Tom and I are committed to providing you with retirement planning solutions. And this weekend, Southern California, we want you to stop shooting on yourselves. Right, Tom? Absolutely. I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> what we're talking about is that shoulda, coulda, woulda, but didn't. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Some of the biggest regrets of retirees. And Tom, I know we were talking before we got started today, and, and you said a really good phrase about wishing and hoping. Talk about that. Yeah, people just, so many people that come in to meet with us, and I hear this from all of our six advisors, seven advisors now. I keep saying six. We have seven. Please make note, okay? And uh, you're we're growing, growing like gangbusters. <laughs> Yes. We are. But the one thing that that when we were sitting around on Monday during our meeting where we go over every case that will be presented that week and we're all together so we can put our set of eyes on each case and learn from each case, but also improve each case as it goes through the grid of seven advisors rather than just one. Everybody sits around and says, you know, people, these people wish they had, mm -hmm. they should have, they could have, they would have, they, they now regret is the big word, not doing it earlier. So there, this show, Kristen, as you and I talked about, could be good for the people who you might find solace in the fact that there's a lot of other people who shoulda, woulda, coulda, mm -hmm. and have regrets who are already in retirement. And if you're sitting out there for goodness sakes, and you're not retired yet, but you're five years or 10 years away, and you think, well, I'm okay now, I got my 401k, I don't really need an advisor. Well, sometimes you might find out with, by all of the things that we talk about in this show, you might need an advisor to help you make sure that in that last five years of you continuing to build the lumber yard, out of which you're going to build your retirement plan. We call it a retirement blueprint. And you're going to build a lumber yard for the next five years. And many times, Kristen, that last 10 years is the most fruitful because maybe the kids are out of the house, the college loans are paid off, maybe the house is paid off, or it should be getting paid off if you can. And so that's really time the straightaway. It's like the runners when they're running on the curves at the Olympics, it looks like they're running not quite as fast. But boy, when they get in that straightaway, mm -hmm. that lasts five or 10 years. If you're in that, don't get to the end of that straightaway and then say, I'm here, it's done. Now, what should I have done 10 years ago? Go find out right now. Yes. You know, get you know, get on our schedule. Find out right now what you need to be doing so that you don't have the regrets that we're going to talk about in this show. And I know we are dedicated to really educating all of you each week, but part of the show too is allowing folks to connect. You, you mentioned going ahead and getting on your schedule because you want to offer these complimentary retirement blueprints for each individual that wants one that can really help people avoid making these mistakes and not having these regrets. Yeah. And let's, let's talk about a retirement blueprint. Let's, you know, you say, what is that? What, what does it do? What does that mean? Well, a retirement blueprint it's an in-depth review, analysis, and printout of your retirement and what it's going to look like. 
and you've got a blueprint when it comes to income, inflation, investments, taxes, your health care, legacy, a lot of other things. And what does that do for you? It tests and sees. It's, it, it allows you to see whether you're going to be able to, from the lumber yard that you've made, are you going to have enough sources for retirement income? So you're not going to run out of money before you pass away. And what happens to your spouse if you pass away for those of you who are married? And here's what it means. When you leave our office with a retirement blueprint, and that's complete, and it's it's in your hands, and you you understand it, you you can officially stop wondering. Okay, mm-hmm. you you can stop you can stop wondering. Am I going to outlive my money? Right. But instead, you're going to have the the knowledge to be able to rest, and you're going to know that the the strategy's been tested mathematically. You're going to be able to see that your money's going to last as long as you need it. In, in other words, you can put to to bed all of your concerns, and you can back get back to the things that you always wanted to do in your retirement years, rather than worrying about whether you're going to run out of money. Mm-hmm. Just imagine what it would feel like to not wonder about that again, whether you're going to run out of money. That's what a retirement blueprint that we offer, it, it not can do that. It does do that for about 20, 25, 30 families, groups, people that are out there every single month. Mm-hmm. We work with that many families and we allow them to put that at ease in their heart and in their mind. Yes. And you know, Tom, as you were sharing that, it made me think of something that we haven't talked about for a while on the show, but the fact that you always say the sigh is your why. It's that sigh of relief that comes when folks get this blueprint, have that solid plan, and know that they're going to be okay. Exactly. I mean, you know, it's such... I am, I'm old. Okay. I'll just tell you right here. I feel it every morning when I get up and, but I don't have any intention of retiring because I love what I do. Now I'm pacing myself Mm -hmm. and I've got other people that I'm training and those guys and those ladies are fantastic who work with you. But, but you know, I still am, I still cannot get anything like the thrill of sitting across a conference table and to go a little deeper in the side, Kristen, when I see that couple come in who are all worried Mm -hmm. and maybe he got laid off. Maybe she got laid off and they only have half the income during this last five years where they were going to save all kinds of money for retirement because you know how they like to lay people off who are over 50 and 55 and they, they come in and they're all concerned and they're all worried and they don't know. And, you know, the old saying, what we've said on the show before, what you don't know can't hurt you is a lie. Mm -hmm. What you don't know can hurt you. You need to know if you have enough money to retire and if you have enough money so that you're not going to run out of income the rest of your life. And that's what we give people in the retirement blueprint. And when they sit across that table and they give that big sigh. I mean, that just, that's just like charging my battery. Mm -hmm. I just got a jump charge on my battery. Yeah, for sure. Well, if you're out there and you're going, you know what, I would like to be able to have that sigh of relief. I want to be confident that I'm going to be okay, that my money's going to last as long as I do. This is why Tom and the team offer you this complimentary retirement blueprint. We're going to be talking a lot more and giving you a lot more information throughout today's show. But if you want to go ahead and get started, you can simply pick up the phone and call 888-930-5609 and schedule your time to come in and claim yours. Well, Tom, biggest regrets of retirees, I think it's probably not a surprise that the first one on the top of the list is not saving enough. You know, I, I've never met someone that regrets starting soon, right? (laughs) I think most people can relate to that. And no matter how old you are in this process, once you learn and understand, especially how compound growth works, you really wish that you had started sooner. And so I know many retirees wish they'd saved more diligently throughout their working years. And that's a common regret. No, it is. Let's be clear. I've never met anybody on their deathbed who said, I wish I'd work longer. But I've also never met anybody on their deathbed who said, man, I'm sorry we had so much money Mm -hmm. because I'm sorry we saved enough because a lot of retirees just put it off. There's as you're growing, and I know you're sitting out there and you're listening, you say, wow, we haven't saved enough. And you're, and you're thinking, well, what do we do to save enough? The problem is the, um, the things that are immediate 
I mean, the travel ball and the dance lessons and the things for school and, and the clothes for school and, and the cell phones and all of the other things that you're paying for and the going out to eat and all of those things, those are important. They're, they're part of life. Let's not get a, away from that. But so many people get to the end and they've sown all of those things. They've done all of those things. And it's like my dad said, you can't always sow wild oats and then pray for crop failure. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you're going to get, you're going to reap what you've sown. And the earlier, as you said, Kristen, you start, and those of you who are listening, if you might be riding, riding in the car with your parents and, and they're listening to the show because this really appeals to retirement in their age, but you're younger and you're, you're riding down the road and you're thinking, yeah, uh, what should I do? You should start sowing earlier. As you said, Kristen, the earlier you start, the better, because that money just compounds over a period of time. Now, Vanguard did a study in last year mm -hmm. and it was how America saves. And they found out that the average 401k balance for people who are 55 to 64 years of age was $207,000. Mm. And that's affected, you know, by some very high numbers and some very low numbers. The median number, the median number was only $71,168, if you understand statistics. So, so here's the other thing that the, that report and the Federal Reserve report from 2023 showed. 28% of non-retired adults have no savings whatsoever out there. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the point. If you have no savings, you've not saved enough. And probably if you're 55 to 64 and you're at $207,000, you probably haven't saved enough. So there, there, how does that happen? I mean, what do you do? Well, the biggest thing I see is people don't take advantage of the things they have at work, like a 401k that we talk about often in this, uh, on this show, you mm -hmm. know, and stuff. In, in 2022, only 15% of the people that are working with Vanguard on their 401k were maxing out out their contributions. And if you don't have a 401k, people are not contributing to traditional IRAs or Roth IRAs where you pay the tax now and you never pay the tax on it again. So you got to sit back and it's one thing to identify a problem, but it's, it's another thing to not do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it, you know, you just said, but yeah, that's me. I'm not saving enough money. Well, I'm glad I've got 210,000. So I'm above average. All of those things are great but they're not going to help you when you're 85 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to start saving more money in many cases. When we come back, I'll give you a couple of hints as to how to do that. But a lot of you are sitting out there and say, well, how do I get started? Because retirement, believe it or not, is usually done only one time in your life. And it's a first time thing. So you've never gone through it. You don't understand it. You don't know all the financial ramifications. That's where we can help. We can take what you've got right now, tell you what else you need, and start building you a retirement blueprint if you'll pick up the phone and call us. Like Tom said, retirement is something you're only going to do once you get one shot at it. We want you to be and be able to stay retirement ready. So to start your process of getting your complimentary retirement blueprint, again, that number to call is 888-930-5609. We've got a lot more to cover on today's show. Stay with us. We'll be back with more right after this. Social Security is easy, right? The question is, should I take it now or later? Well, there are dozens and dozens of ways to take Social Security if you're single and even more if you're married. This one-time decision can also affect how much you pay in taxes, how much you receive in lifetime payouts for you and possibly your spouse. You could increase your nest egg by tens of thousands of dollars just by being informed. And unfortunately, the Social Security office is not allowed to give you comprehensive financial planning advice. Build your Social Social Security benefits into a retirement income plan with all of your assets. Get your own tailored, no cost Social Security income strategy with Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management. 888 930 5609. For your own no cost retirement blueprint, call Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management. 888 930 5609. Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. And this weekend, Tom and I are discussing some of the biggest regrets of retirees. And of course, we started off with the one that I think most folks can relate to, not saving enough or not starting to save early 
cheaper than they did, right? I mean, that's that's the key is time is our biggest asset when it comes to growing our wealth. Yeah, not starting early enough. I actually want to sort of merge that one off into its own little segment there. That would be number two, not starting retirement planning or dedicating things toward that. We talked about in the first session, that would be number two, not not saving enough. But the reason people don't save enough, Kristen, is they don't start early enough. Right. Yeah. You know, whenever I'm late for some place, it's usually because I didn't leave early enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's, it's on, it's my, it's on me. It's my fault in most of those cases, because I just didn't start. I don't have enough because I didn't do it early enough. And a lot of people that are coming in are having to delay their retirement because they didn't, they haven't saved enough. And when I ask them, when did you start saving for retirement? They say, oh, well, I had opportunities available. They weren't participating in their 401k at work. I had opportunities available before, but I never took advantage. You know how we are when we're young, you know, because yeah, we're spending money on, on other things and then they have a regret over it. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, and you can, you can do the 401k. If you're self-employed, you can, you can invest in a, in a simple IRA or a, a SEP IRA, IRA. A lot of those have you the opportunity for self-employed people to do far more money, but you need to start. I mean, the, the key is to start today. I like the Roth for young people. I've got five children mm -hmm. and they're all, you know, adults now. They're all 27 to 47 years of age and they all are gainfully employed. And I encourage every single one of them to take part in retirement savings also, obviously, but I also encourage them to get involved in a Roth because you pay the tax now. And most people think taxes are going to be lower now than they're going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. So, and so once you do that, then you start retirement savings and savings can be done in a 401k or an IRA, but you also need to start thinking about retirement. You need to create a budget and say, what are we living off of? And because a lot of times, because you, you know, you just, it's like calories. Mm -hmm. You don't understand how many calories you're taking in sometimes until you start counting them. Right. And then you, and you know, and that's why people avoid it. You mm -hmm. know, they don't want to know, <laughs> but with retirement, you're going to have to live it. So create a budget and you might decide that you need to reduce your spending and dedicate more to saving enough and doing that earlier is going to help you. And you might also realize you need to seek out some kind of other income source. Mm -hmm. um, I do know people after the kids are out of the house and they're watching their pennies. That's one thing. You know, my mom used to say pennies make dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can hear her saying that right now, yeah. but you're watching those things. I have a business associate who says, you know, your subscriptions that you have that, you know, you bought that Fubo subscription mm -hmm. because you wanted to watch X, Y, Z, and you don't ever use that prescript, that subscription anymore. Anymore. Yep. And and but it costs you nineteen ninety nine a month. He calls that dripping nickels. Yeah. So you know those are some things you do when you start retirement planning. You you create that budget. Watch your spending. You start maybe getting some other income sources. Watch what money's going out. And then one of the things when in starting retirement planning, I don't just mean working with an advisor because I think that would be a great thing to do too. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what I encourage my younger people to do: share your raise. OK, mm -hmm. share your raise. And, and I ask people sometimes when they come in, oh, Tom, you know, we should have saved a lot more. Well, how much are you saving now? Well, I'm only saving the four percent match in my 401k. I applaud that. I think that's great. I mean, it's it's tremendous to save the four percent match. But I go back and I ask him, I said, how long have you been doing that? And I had a person recently when I asked that question said, we all oh, probably 16 years I've been putting into the 401k and they had done OK. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But I asked him, I said, how many times did you get a raise in that 16 years? Well, every year, you know, mm -hmm. almost every year, sometimes two. And I said, how many times did you share your raise with your 401k? Mm -hmm. And what you're doing is you're used to a certain amount of money coming in. You get a raise. Let's go spend it all. Mm -hmm. Bad decision. Right. If you get a raise, take half of it and give it to your 401k. You're really, by the way, giving that to yourself for the future. Right. OK. And take the other half and spend it now. So split it between now and the future. Give half of it to the 401k. It'll actually save you money on taxes as opposed to taking it all right now. And and that's a way to to maybe start retirement planning 
early, start the 401k, build the 401k earlier. So you're not sitting there with the number one problem of not saving enough. When right. you get to the end, you'll be there. I'm so glad we're talking about not starting retirement planning early enough, because I think a lot of people hear not saving enough and they're like, yeah, that that's a given. But to your point, Tom, you offer this complimentary retirement blueprint to people, no matter their age and stage of life, you also offer 401k coaching. So there's a lot of things that people who might think, oh, well, I'm not retirement age yet. I don't need retirement planning. Absolutely. My wife and I are going to Europe for two and a half weeks in October. Let me tell you how we did that, okay? We decided initially where we're going to go. We have we have a cruise that we've been honored to, to receive where we're going from like north of Munich to, to Budapest for a seven day river cruise. And we're really excited about that. So when we get a cruise like that given to us, what we always, always do is we, we plan another week or a week and a half or two weeks. I'd like to go three, but my wife wants to be home <laughs> and uh, we go somewhere else. So we decided, the first thing we decided was where we're going to Italy. Mm. Okay. And then we, we debated, you know, do you go down to the Amalfi coast? We're going in October. Do you go to Cinque Terre? We love Florence. We absolutely love Rome and we've been to Venice multiple times. So, you know, it's where do we go? So we then narrowed it down to, we were going to go to Rome and Florence. And then we thought about that and and so then we you know let's go to Rome and Cinque Terre. We've never really been to Cinque Terre. That that'd be really cool. So you see what I'm saying? There are layers mm-hmm. to planning that trip. Yep. We we got the air we got the airfare. Okay, mm-hmm. we we've got the airplane. And then the second thing we did of. A, a, Two or three weeks later, we we now have the hotels we're going to stay in. Mm-hmm. And now we know what day we're going to be where. So guess what the next layer is? We're beginning to really put the day-to-day agenda where we're, where we're going and what we're going to do. Now, bring that into retirement planning. If you wait till the day before, we're going to go on October the 11th. Mm-hmm. What if we waited till October 10th and I went in and said, hey, Susie, let's go to, let's go to Italy tomorrow. Mm-hmm. OK, you know, man, we don't have the air airplane. We don't have the hotels. We don't have we probably can't do any of the things we really want to do because those things fill up because we waited too late. Yeah. And you don't get what, to eat where you want to eat. I know that's a big priority, yeah, too. Right. <laughs> no, boy, in, in Italy. Yes. <laughs> although. Although alternatives are phenomenal in Italy, but you're right. You don't get to eat at those special, special places. But here's what I'm saying. If you put that into retirement planning, that's why you need to start in your 20s, 30s, 40s. You need to start. This is what I want to do in retirement. This is where I want my retirement. What do I want it to look like? This is when I want my retirement to do. This is where I'm going to live or what I want to do. And you begin to put those things in. You know what? Just like we changed, we we decided instead of going to Rome and Florence, we're going to Rome and Cinque Terre. Mm-hmm. So you can always alter your plan, but you, you've got to have a plan in order to be able to alter it. So, yeah. you know, you don't save enough. That's that's a problem that you end up with because you don't start early enough and you don't start early enough in the actual, you know, dittos. You just put it in in pencil. You just mm-hmm. dot it in. It's not a solid line yet, but you just dot it in and you start planning. It's so important that you do that. It is. And I, I know that, again, that's where that sigh comes in when you have a plan in place. And I'm sure if, for our younger listeners, Tom, I bet some people are going, I don't even know what I want my retirement to look like. I'm just so busy trying to work, deal with the kids, you know, taking care of my own aging parents. There's a lot of competing priorities, if you will. But it's kind of like you need to put the oxygen mask on yourself first, right? <laughs> and yeah. and that's the important thing is even if someone comes in and they're not sure exactly how, what they want their final puzzle to look like, this is what you all specialize in doing. You help people. It's almost like giving people permission to dream again and to help them understand, okay, these are some of the things you need to start thinking through now. So when you do get to retirement, it can be executed the way you want it to go. Now, I've got five kids that I love. And in in line with what you're saying right now, Kristen, I wanted to give them everything I feasibly could whenever they were growing up that they needed and many of the things that they wanted. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing I want to give my kids is the lack 
of the burden of taking care of me or mm-hmm. my wife after I'm gone mm-hmm. because we didn't save enough money for retirement. Right. Did you get that? I mean, getting a retirement plan is not coming in so we can help you decide which one of your kids is it most feasible for you to live with for the last 10 years of your life mm-hmm. and be a, be a, a burden to. That's what most people want to retire. If I've heard something over and over and over and over and over again in the conference rooms when I've met with people, they say we want a retirement plan because we don't want to be a burden to our kids mm-hmm. because that's a burden. It, it ruins their life in some ways. It ruins your life in lots of ways because, man, for you to be at the last part of your years and you to know that you're living somewhere where you're a burden to your kids or maybe even you're not one but they have to take care of you because they're obligated to do that. That's what a retirement plan does. A retirement plan will give you that size so you can say, I'm not going to have to be a burden to my kids. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have enough money. And number two, I'm going to, because I start early and I save enough money, that's what you're looking to do. That's what we can help you do. We can help you have those golden retirement years because you have that comfort to know that you got your act together. Absolutely. And again, we're doing a show on the biggest regrets of retirees because we don't want you to have these regrets. So there's never been a better time for you to pick up the phone and call 888-930-5609 to claim your complimentary retirement blueprint from Tom and the team of all-star advisors at Mosley Wealth Management. You don't have to go it alone. They are here to help and serve you. 888-930-5609. We'll be back with more right after this. Are you worried that you waited too late to start your retirement planning? That you waited too late to start saving? At Mosley Wealth Management, we believe it's never too late to start planning for your future. We can help you develop a personalized retirement plan that is tailored to your current needs and goals. The team at Mosley Wealth Management will sit down with you and provide an evaluation of your current path, including your investment strategy, tax planning, and risk management approach. We'll help you identify potential areas for improvement and work with you to create a retirement plan that is designed to help you work towards having financial security and peace of mind in retirement. It's not too late for you to get started with Mosley Wealth Management. Call us today to schedule your complimentary retirement planning session. We believe we can help you get on the path to financial security and peace of mind in retirement. Call Tom Mosley and the team at Mosley Wealth Management to get started on your own complimentary retirement blueprint. Call 888-930-5609. That's 888- 8-930-5609. Tom Mosley and the team have helped thousands of folks like you in Southern California plan for their retirement. Now make the call yourself. 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. He is the founder and president of Mosley Wealth Management, and I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. Today, we are discussing the biggest regrets of retirees. And Tom, before we dive back into our extensive list here, I know we have a lot of listeners that are excited to connect with you through the radio show, but also outside of the radio show. So let's tell our listeners some of what you've got going on in Southern California. Hey, I love meeting some of our listeners. I get I've got people in every single seminar that I attend anymore. It's just people come up and say, hey, we've been listening to you for, uh, you know, a year. We've been listening to you for two years. You know, pe- we've been around and and I, I do appreciate that. And we do have live seminars and we're sprinkled all over Southern California. If you want to find out all of the dates and times of all of our seminars and workshops, we do social security seminars, we do tax seminars, we do income planning seminars. You can go to mosleywealthmanagement.com and you can click on the seminars tab. And Kristen, you know how to spell Mosley, right? Oh, yes. That's M-O-S-L-E-Y wealthmanagement.com. And you can find the list of events like Tom said there. You can also connect and listen to past radio show episodes and connect with us through the television shows. Go to Mosley Wealth Management. Management, you can click on a tab there and you can find our YouTube channel and all those radio and TV programs. I love it that you're exploding and growing so much, Tom, that we can't even keep all the call letters straight, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> 
K-Y, K-Y-X-Y. Okay. There you go. I, 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 there you go. That's, that's a mouthful. But yes, check everything out at MosleyWealthManagement.com. Again, that's M-O-S-L-E-Y WealthManagement.com. Well, back to our list of the biggest regrets of retirees. This next one really hits close to home, Tom, because of a recent encounter I had that I'll share. Poor investment decisions. And, you know, it's interesting, I was asked to speak at an event in South Carolina last month. And afterwards, I had the sweetest couple that, you know, I started talking to and thank them for coming. And they just started pouring out their hearts to me that they had had a series of poor investment decisions because they had trusted different advisors who did not have their best interests at heart. And they went from having accumulated a lot to not having much left to work with, which just broke my heart. I mean, we know that these things happen. But when you are looking in the eyes of someone who has experienced that because they blindly trusted someone who didn't have their best interests in mind, it's just, it's that much more heart wrenching. But I think a lot of retirees can, you know, at some point in our lives, we've made a decision that we might have regretted. And for a lot of people, it comes in the area of these poor investment decisions. No, it really is. You, you got to be careful. Be careful. You know, I think in our area, like in Southern California, I, I'm of the age that I get the mailers on all the things that are going on for retirement events and seminars. And I always think it's amazing that somebody from from 45 miles away comes in and does an event right in in our area where I live. Mm -hmm. And I'm always wondering what happens? Why are they going so far out of their own area to have an, an event? event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because any you, you've never heard of them, you don't know about them. I think you need to, you need to work with somebody who's been in business for a while, you need to, you need to work with somebody who's as local as we can be, you know, that's tough on us, because we've got five offices and about to grow to six. And we're trying to cover all sprinkle all over Southern California. Right now, we're in Encino, Arcadia, Ontario, Anaheim and Scripps Ranch, we're going to add an office in the West LA area. But, you know, I always thought thought it's amazing that it's somebody who who doesn't want to meet with you personally. They want to work by Zoom and and uh, they're way away from you. And and it's just sometimes I think that your I my personal feeling, let me say that my personal feeling is you've worked all your life to save all of this money. Mm -hmm. And it might not be enough, like we said, to start with, and you might not have had a great plan like we've talked about, but it's all your money. Mm -hmm. And it's everything you're going to live off of the rest of your life. And I think that's a personal deal. And I, I do Zoom appointments because mm -hmm. sometimes people want to work with us. They hear about us. They trust us over the radio or over the TV or wherever they're finding us. YouTube. I'm working with a lady right now who lives in Queens, New York, who found mm -hmm. us on YouTube. Oh, and awesome. she just... Well, she just said, she said, I've got people here, but I don't trust them. I trust mm -hmm. you because mm -hmm. you're always talking about the things that are really resonating with me. So you need to find somebody you can trust. But I, I like to sit down with people. Yeah. I just like to know people because, you you know, it's the old break bread with somebody and you can really understand them better. Mm -hmm. So For you're sure. right. Yeah. You know, people make poor investment decisions when they do stuff like that and they get led the wrong way to do poor investment decisions. They also get greedy. Mm -hmm. OK, it's not always the bad investment advisor, you know, that that leads us to poor Poor investment decisions. We get hasty. Um, you know, I, I have people often call up. I understand that this this currency in Africa is going to explode, but I've got to get the guy ten thousand dollar cashier's check in the mail by tomorrow at midnight. You know, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Just be careful about being led away. Yes. And be careful about investing in things that you don't understand. Be careful about how you're investing. Yes. And that's a good point, Tom, because I think so much of the poor investment decisions can happen inadvertently or unknowingly based on folks not really understanding what phase of the retirement planning process they're actually in. You know, we, we've talked about this on previous shows, but there is a huge difference between the accumulation phase, those years when you're putting money away and you're saving and when you're trying to grow your wealth versus when it's time to preserve that wealth and 
take an income from it. Those are two very different strategies, two very different skill sets. There's lots of different things that go into those different phases. And a lot of folks aren't aware of where they actually are and what shifts and changes need to happen as they progress and move towards that preservation and distribution phase. Absolutely. I mean, let, let's let's bring that in the shoe leather. If you're listening to us and you're in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, the market is your friend. The market is always your friend. You say, well, wait a minute. The market went down. My 401k went down. If you're in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, that's a great time to invest because historically, the market over T-I-M-E, over time, has always been your friend. When, when you get to retirement age, let's talk about the market. The, if you've got all of your money left in the market and you're just drawing down the money to live off of, the market can be your enemy because you're not buying into it. You're taking money out of it. So when the market goes down 50% as it has since 2000, thereabout, then you're going down 50%. You're taking out twice as many units to take out the same amount of money. So the market that was your friend, even in an upswing and a downturn earlier, now becomes your enemy enemy in a downturn because you're taking more shares out. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about annuities too. One of the reasons that people hate annuities is that so many advisors at banks and the investment firms that even call themselves investment firms, as opposed to a wealth management firm or a financial planning firm, uh, those that, that are in the investment firms, they like to sell many times variable annuities, for instance, to mm -hmm. younger people. This is a great thing. And so many people don't like annuities because they got into one when they were 20 or 30. They first got exposed to their friend who was becoming a financial advisor at one of these companies, one of these big box firms. And, oh, you got to get into this variable annuity. And then they found out that the fees in that variable annuity might be three four, even 5% if you added up all the total. And so they took all of their money out at a surrender charge at maybe even a, a getting it out and paying a tax penalty on it. And so they got burned by an annuity when they were young. An annuity is there for the most part to either have money that's in a safe bucket or number two, and the main reason is to give you guaranteed income for life. Mm -hmm. When you're 20 and 30 and 40, your income comes from a, 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 a wild phenomena out there called job, J-O-B. Mm -hmm. And you don't need an annuity when you're young. The market is always your friend. When you get to be when you, in the retirement, the annuity may be your best friend because it gives you the security, the fixed indexed annuity type gives you the security to know that you're never going to run out of income the rest of your life. It's right. always going to be there and the market can bite you because it goes down 50% and you're taking out far more equity out of your portfolio. So Making poor investment decisions can be something that is is really, really tra traumatic to your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's, it's not just traumatic to your portfolio. I think with that, there can be some really psychological ramifications. You know, I think of this couple when I was looking into both of their eyes, you could just see the hurt. You could see the pain. It was traumatic emotionally, too. And, it, and it's sad because you can't you can't go back and fix what's happened, right? But you can move forward in a new way. And I think that's the encouraging word is that you often work with folks who come in who might be in really bad circumstances, but you're able to help them turn it around. Yeah, we've had people come in in their early 50s with $38,000. And by the time they were in their mid 60s, they are now millionaires, literally. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it, it sort of puts together these first three things we've talked about. The first segment we talked about people regret not saving enough. The second segment we talked about not starting your retirement planning early enough. In other words, not starting the savings earlier, but not also fabricating and beginning to put together that plan. And then Sometimes if you don't work with a good advisor, the third thing, making these poor investment decisions, you want to avoid those things, please give us a call. We'd love to work with you. That number to call is 888-930-5609. Again, this is for no cost, no charge, no obligation. It's simply an invitation to have a conversation to see how the team of Mosley Wealth Management can help and serve you. So to claim your complimentary retirement blueprint, 888-930-5609. We'll be back with more on today's show right after this. 
Can you remember how different life was when you were 10 years old and 20 years old and 30 years old? You could be retired for 30 years or more as well. Imagine the different stages you will experience in a long retirement. One of the biggest concerns for most retirees is running out of money in retirement. If you've never planned for decades worth of income spending from your investments, savings, social security, and other resources, you don't want to get it wrong. Actively plan for a successful retirement by working together with a financial advisor whose practice designs these retirement income strategies every day in their firm. Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management devises retirement income strategies for listeners just like you, and it's complimentary to get started. Call Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management and ask for your own complimentary retirement income strategy. 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. Get your retirement right on the money with Tom Mosley. Call 888-930-5609 for your no-cost appointment. Welcome back, Southern California. You're listening to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley, and Tom and I have been working through a list of some of the most common regrets that retirees have. We want you to do everything in your power to not have these same regrets. And the next one on the list, Tom, is underestimating health care costs. You and I both know, and we have some data here that we're going to share with all of you, that healthcare is by far one of the most largest expenses that folks are going to have to have in retirement. But often retirees underestimate that cost, and that can include some huge regrets because we know that these things are very expensive. Well, Medicare, Medicare will take care of everything, right? Just mm-hmm. A and B, you know, and you get there and you know, it's like going on a vacation or going on a trip. And when you get there, it ain't like you thought it was going to be because mm-hmm. there are costs in healthcare. It's it's really crucial that you not underestimate this. Now, all of you who are out there have parents. I can almost bet on that. OK, and you have a relationship with those parents. And all I would ask you to do is just remember some of the things that happened to your parents, some of the issues that they went through. And what I'm seeing just as a general overview of the healthcare area right now with the hundreds of clients that we work with, Kristen, what I'm seeing right now is people are doing everything they can to get the right kind of health care through the programs that are available, Mm -hmm. and that being the Medicare governmental program, the private insurance for the supplements and the advantage that we'll talk about here in a minute. But even some of them, and myself included, they're just not happy with the health care that we're getting right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm I'm really glad to be able to be ordered to get a blood test. And then when I go to schedule it with the lab, then the first opportunity they have for me to come in and take it is 10 weeks down the road. Right. And, yeah. and I, I, I literally, uh, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings by telling this, but I do have a friend who passed away recently, her, her funeral was within the past month. Mm -hmm. And she got um, a diagnosis of cancer, but the delays in her getting in to get treatment for that cancer, by the time it progressed, people were saying, you know, if she had gotten in earlier, if she'd have been able to get these tests earlier, if she'd have been able to get that surgery earlier, maybe she could still be with us. So, Mm -hmm. you know, those are you don't want to talk about stuff like that, but that's right. our, that's real thing. So a lot of people are going even to a private concierge type doctor situation mm-hmm. where in addition to Medicare, in addition to private health supplement and advantage, you cover a concierge coverage just so you can call a doctor, just so you can talk to a doctor mm-hmm. rather than a nurse. And I know a lot, they're trying to make the nurse hotlines really work well, and, and they're trying to use PAs because they don't have enough doctors because so many doctors have retired. But my situation in 2022, I went into the hospital for diverticulitis for four days, and I never saw a doctor mm-hmm. in the emergency room or the hospital. It was always a physician's assistant mm-hmm. and a head nurse who came to see me. So, you know, just the healthcare, it's a big 
thing that's out there. And if you think, well, I'll just pick up Medicare or I'll just pick up the private insurance. And again, we'll talk about those here in a minute. You might think, well, that'll cover everything. You may need more than that. You may. And I'll, I'll tell you where, where it really is driven home. Kristen, with you, I know your husband's name is Charlie. Mm -hmm. With you, you're going to be concerned if something happens to Charlie that he gets the right a care. He gets the right attention. You yep. understand what I'm saying? Yep. And the same way with me, with Susan, if something happens with her, I'm going to be adamant that she get the right care and I'm going to pay whatever it costs. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I've got an insurance that won't let, let me get a certain uh, new therapy or new surgery that they have at a hospital that my insurance won't cover, guess what? If I have the money and I want the money to be able to cover that for myself or my wife, for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to to get that coverage and what people do bringing it back to the financial what people do sorry to get off on all the personal stuff but all the personal stuff is pertinent yeah this lady friend who passed away was a, was one of our clients and it's also a business thing that retirees often regret underestimating what cost health care is going to be for them in retirement and that includes medical expense and we haven't even touched on long-term care we haven't even right. touched on the premiums that these things cost mm -hmm. so much goes into this and and I know there's some statistics here about how much folks need to have saved just for medical expenses, which these alone are astounding. I think back to earlier in the show, Tom, when we were talking about what the average and the median 401k balance is for folks, some of these costs exceed that. So share some of this data with our listeners. Well, I think that the average 401k balance was $200,000, $207,000, call right. it 208, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, the Employee Benefit Research Institute that, that surveys 401ks and pensions and everything to do with employees and the benefits that are available to people in retirement, okay? They found in a recent survey that the current 64-year-old man who's enrolled in Medicare and has a Medicare supplement mm -hmm. will need... $166,000 to cover their medical expenses if they live until the age of 90. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, I'm not going to live that long. You don't know that. Right. You don't know that. People are living long like crazy. And because women live longer than men, the average 64-year-old woman, according to the Employee Benefit Research Institute, is going to need $197,000. Mm -hmm. So a married couple with a Medicare supplement and Medicare Part A and B with, with average premiums is going to need to save $318,000 so that they'll have a 90% chance. So if, if you've saved $208,000 and earlier in the show you were patting yourself on the back and saying, hey, we're a little bit above average, I got news for you. Go, go thank your doctor. Be nice to your doctor because they're going to take it. $318,000 on the average. So and it's amazing. And this does not even cover long-term care, which of course, the longer we live studies show folks are probably going to need some form of long-term care. And I, I know there's, you know, especially in, in Southern California, the cost can be absolutely astronomical when it comes to different types of long-term care. Well, assisted living in California, and I'm going off of a survey and the averages, and when I talk to people personally about this in the conference rooms, many times say, well, my mom cost a lot more than that. Assisted living in California, the average is $5,250 a month. And that ranges all the way. I, I remember Bakersfield was like thirty-seven fifty a month. San Francisco was like sixty-three nineteen a month. And so you're going to have an average of fifty-two hundred fifty dollars a month for assisted living. In you say, well, I don't want to live in an assisted living. If you have an in-home health aid Monday through Friday, the average cost four thousand nine hundred and fifty-seven dollars a month, almost as much. You say, why would you not just go into the home? Hey, when you get there, you'll understand you want to stay in the home. You want your independence. You want that. Mm -hmm. uh, adult daycare. You say, let's just drop off at the, the adult daycare, $1,690 a month. Mm -hmm. And a nursing home with a shared room, $6,160 a month. These are, these are National Council of Aging averages for California. So, so you're going to run into that. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to it somewhere else, it might be less. If you're listening to it a few places other, it might be more. But the question is not, are you going to run into it? How are you going to pay for it? 
Yep. Yep. You know, are you going to, are you going to dig it out of personal savings? Mm -hmm. Are you going to reverse mortgage the house and take it out of home equity? Are you going to need long-term care coverage, an actual policy? It's going to be really expensive and really hard to get. Do you have VA benefits? Are you going to dig it out of cash value life insurance? And you say, well, no, won't Medicare and Medicaid pay for that? Only a small portion of that. And all those numbers consider Medicare and, and Medicaid. And another way people pay for it is they have the wisdom some of the annuities that are out there right now that pay you a certain guaranteed income a month, some of them have an activities of daily living rider, mm -hmm. okay, that if you hit two of the six activities of daily living, they will double whatever that annuity pays out. They will double it for five years. And if you're married, they'll do it for you or your spouse. So mm -hmm. how are you going to cover it? You, it's not a matter of me creating a lot of issues here. I'm telling you what the prices are. I'm telling you, you need to get started early. I need I, You need to plan early. You need to avoid stupid decisions in re, your investments, but you also don't need to overlook what health care is going to cost you. It's going to be really, really big. Well, it's, I mean, it's not hard to see why underestimating health care costs is a huge regret of a lot of retirees. And again, that's what we want to help avoid is help you not have to have these same regrets. And Tom, one of the things I appreciate about your complimentary retirement blueprint is you address this healthcare conversation. It's not just about someone's investments. You dive so deeply and do this from a comprehensive, holistic perspective so that all these different facets of someone's financial plan can be addressed. That's exactly right. Income, inflation, investments, taxes, bingo. Number five is healthcare. You got it? Mm -hmm. Healthcare is so crucial. Legacy is the last one. Here's what a retirement blueprint is. It's an in-depth analysis of your situation where you can see it on writing, you can see it in paper. What does it do for you? It lets you know if you have a chance of turning out okay or not, or what kind of changes you need to make. This is a retirement blueprint that we offer everybody who calls in. And what that means is when you walk out of that office, you're going to be able to walk out and put those concerns behind you of, are we going to have enough money? Can we retire? Do Are we going to run out of money when there's only one of us left if you're married? You can yeah, imagine what that's going to feel like mm -hmm. when you walk out with your retirement blueprint. Well, quit imagining, pick up the phone and call us. And again, that number to call is 888-930-5609. You don't have to go it alone. We know that a lot of what we shared today could potentially be overwhelming. If you were trying to figure all this out on your own, it might be new to you, but guess what? It's not new to Tom and the team of Mosley Wealth Management, and you don't have to go it alone. They would love to be able to come alongside you, build you your complimentary retirement blueprint, and figure out how you can successfully navigate all these different aspects of your future. Well, that's all the time we have for this weekend, but thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, be safe, be happy, be blessed, and we look forward to being back with you next week here on Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. Investment advisory services offered by duly registered individuals through Mosley Wealth Management Incorporated. Mosley Wealth Management and Mosley Insurance and Financial Services are affiliated companies by common ownership license number OB61811. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refers to fixed insurance products, never securities or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength claims paying ability of the issuing carrier. This content is tended for informational and educational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the needs of an individual situation. All hypothetical examples are provided for illustrative purposes only. They do not represent real-life scenarios. Mosley Insurance and Financial Services, nor its agents or representatives, may give tax or legal advice. Individuals should consult with a qualified professional for guidance before making any investment decisions. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any government agency. Some of the information provided may be from one or more third parties, which we believe to be reliable sources, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Mosley Insurance and Financial Services.